Okay, so let's just talk a little bit about faints and faking. And there's a, a really good YouTuber from uh, the UK, Frank Sands, and he was like a, a decent boxer. He's a really good coach, and he put out a video on faking. And uh, he, he broke down the basics, and then I want to add three. So basically, when you fake, you can fake with the hand. So there's some kind of a little bit of extension, and then maybe full extension, right? Because you want to purchase some kind of reaction from the person and then use the opening. Or for the same reason, you fake with the shoulder or the hip, so some kind of body movement. And we do that in movie time all the time, like, I'm gonna kick you, but it's really just the hips and shoulders are moving so that the kick isn't delayed when it comes out. Because you can't like, it's a phony kick, and I put it back, and then I go, there's no way to do that, it's too slow. Okay, and then the last one is you fake with the foot. So the foot looks like you're advancing, but it might come right back. And if you watch like MMA, UFC, you'll see they're doing foot feints all the time, both the side of the kickboxing and the upper body. Okay, and then I like to talk about targeting. So this comes from the Kali, which is like the knife work. You fake to the target and you hit the intended target. What's number two? Yeah, fake to the target, but elevation change. So something on the same side. So what we're doing earlier, I'm gonna hit the body, so I fake to the body, but I go to the head, or I fake to the head, and I go to the body. And it would be combined with maybe the shoulder faint and then to the body. There's also tactile faint, which means maybe it's really light, so it's speedy, and then I can really crack the body or whatever the next intended target is. And what's the last one? Switch sides. Switch sides, opposite sides, so you might Fake a left, but you return a right. Or I fake a jab, but I'm setting up the crossword. So we got paragraph here. What we did earlier were three combinations. So jab, cross, hook, cross, all to the head. Then jab, cross, body hook, cross. And we did jab, cross, uppercut, cross over the first three we did. So where the bent arm blow is, the hook or the uppercut, we can start to fake that. So I might fake low and go high. I might fake a body hook but throw an uppercut, but I'm just gonna mix it up. Or I might fake the hook all together and I might feed the right. Does that make sense? So play with the combinations back and forth, but start to put in the feints. Or I might fake with my foot or my shoulder and then just fire the cross. But mix it up. Don't make it the same. One and a two and a three and a four, like every single time. Okay, let's try that. 